Hey everyone, it is Silly Man here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a double cash game pass on Roblox. So keep in mind that for this to work, you will need to have a cash system in your game. So I already made a video on that. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to check that out. So first we're going to create the game pass. So go over to create.roblox.com and then click on the place you want to add the game pass. Then go to associated items and then go to passes, then click create a pass. So I'm going to choose an image here. I'll just call this double cash. And for the description, I'll just say gives you twice as much cash in game. And then we're going to create pass. All right, so I'm currently editing and I realized that I actually forgot to put the game pass on sale. And for some reason, if you try doing that on the creator dashboard, it doesn't work. I get an error. So what you want to do is go to rollbox.com slash develop. Or you can just uh, hit create here on the main website and then you want to find your place and then uh, click this icon here and then click create pass and we all recreate the pass so it's going to show up over here so you just want to go to configure and then go to sales and then you can put it on sale so i can just sell this for 100 robux and then hit save so next we're going to create a button that will allow the player to buy the game pass from the game so I'm going to just go ahead and copy this button here, and then paste it, and I'm going to call this double cash. Then I'm just going to move it down. I'm going to change the color to blue. And I'll change the text to double cash. And then you can also uh, go ahead and delete the script inside of it. And I'm actually going to add a UI padding. So, so just type in UI, then click on UI padding. Then I'm going to set padding left to 0.03. Do the same with the padding right. And this will just create some space here. That way the text just looks kind of better on the button. So now it's time to do some scripting. So I'm going to right click on the double cache button and then insert a local script. And then we're going to say local marketplace service because we will need this to allow the player to buy the game pass equals game get service marketplace service and then we need the player service so we're going to say local players equals game get service players then we need to get the player object so to do that we say local player equals players dot local player the next we need to make a variable for the double cash button so to do that we just say local double cash button equals script.parent since the script is inside of the double cash button and then next we need to make a variable for the game pass id so we're going to say local game pass id equals and now we need to get the game pass id so so if you come over here and click on your game pass Bruh. Okay, so for some reason the game pass isn't loading, but that's actually okay because the game pass ID is actually right here. It's this second number here in the URL. So make sure you don't copy this because this is actually the ID of your game. So make sure you copy the second number because that is the ID of the game pass. And then we're going to just paste it. And then next we're going to make an event for when the player clicks on the button. So we're going to say double cache button dot activated connect function. And then we need a prompt the player to purchase the game pass so we're going to say marketplace service prompt game pass purchase player and then the game pass id okay so next we're going to go over to the cash system script and i created this script in the last video so make sure to watch that video to get the script so what we're going to do is make a variable here so we need marketplace service so we're going to say local marketplace service equals game get service marketplace service And then we're going to make a variable for the game pass ID. So local game pass ID equals, and then you just want to paste it. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is create a value for the double cache game pass. So first I'm going to create a folder. So I'm going to say local passes folder equals instance.new folder passes folder.name equals, and you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it game passes just to keep it simple. And then we're going to set the parent of that to the player. So now we're going to create 
the value for the game pass. So local double cache value equals instance dot new. And we're going to type in quotes bool value. And basically a bool is basically just means it just means true or false. It's basically a value. It's like an integer value, but instead of having number values, it's just going to be true or false. And then we're going to say double cache value dot name equals double cache double cash value dot value equals false double cash value dot parent I'm going to set that uh, to the game passes folder so passes folder so next what we need to do is check to see if the player owns the game pass and, and if they do we're going to set this value to true so to check if a player owns the game pass we're going to say if marketplace service user owns game pass async player dot user ID game pass ID then we're going to set it to true so I'm going to just copy this paste it and then change it from false to true now this code here will check to see if a player owns the game pass when they join the game because it is inside of the players dot player added event which fires when a player joins the game but we also need to set the double cash value here to true if the player buys the game pass during the game so to do that we're going to come down here and say marketplace service dot prompt game pass purchase finished connect function and this event will take in three parameters so the parameters are going to be the player then the pass id and then the third parameter is going to be whether the player actually bought the game pass or not because you can also choose to cancel uh the game pass purchase when the player is prompted so i'm going to just call this parameter purchased and then we're going to say if pass id equals game pass id so make sure you call this uh, variable here different from the variable here because otherwise it will actually interfere and the code might not work and then we also need to make sure that the player actually purchased the game pass so we're going to say and purchased because if they didn't purchase the game pass then this variable will be false then player dot game passes because remember we created the folder here called game passes dot double cache dot value equals true and so now the last thing you have to do is make it so that the player gets double the cash if they own the game pass so to do that we're going to go over to this event here the on server event of the give cash remote and we're going to say if player dot game passes dot double cash dot value then player dot leader stats dot cash dot value plus equals two so if they own the game pass then this value here will be true and then they will receive two cash when they click the button otherwise we're going to just give them we're just going to increase the cash amount by one if they don't own the game pass so i'm going to just copy this and then paste it there now if i go ahead and hit play if i click on the cash button you can see that now my cash is increasing by two and if i click on the double cash button it will prompt me to purchase the game pass but in this case i already own it so it just says that i own it and that is how you make a double cash game pass on roblox so if you found this video helpful Please leave a like and I will see you all in the next video.